Okay, I have a little spider here. This is a Caracanthium. She's pretty active. I'm going to go ahead and release her into this white bowl, which is sometimes used for taking photographs. But in this case, because Caracanthium are good climbers, it doesn't really con constrain her movement much. So she can run right back out of it, as you can see right there. She's pretty good at climbing the walls and uh, getting out. Try to convince her to go back in there. Let's see if I can catch her again. Now, here's a great way you can actually get a better look at her um, by using a, uh, a little device that dispenses carbon dioxide. This one's called a Curtis Blaster. Uh, here's another one that's called a uh, Air DC. Um, but basically what they are are keyboard cleaners that use compressed gas, in this case compressed CO2, um, as a source of this uh, jet of air. And in this case, the CO2 is actually going to be useful because I'm going to use it to anesthetize the spider. So I'm going to squirt some of this CO2 in here with our active little chiracanthium. And then close the film canister. You can use any kind of tight-fitting container uh, to do this. Um, you need to leave it in there a little while um, for it to go down. Nice thing about these CO2 containers, you can actually see the silhouette of the spider in there. You can get an idea if it's inactive or not yet. I'm going to wait a little longer till I see that she doesn't seem to be running around in there. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release this anesthetized spider into a, uh, a small petri dish that I'm going to use as a display background for a Orion um, monocular that has a close-up lens affixed to it so that you can actually focus on something very close up at the same magnification of the uh, uh, device. It gives it a, a pretty good uh, magnification effect. Alright, so I'm knocking the spider out now. She's looks like she's pretty out of it. Flipping her upside down so I'd be able to look see if she's mature or not. Whoops. And then I'm going to put this on here and have a look down through there. I can actually focus on the ventral side and see the epigenum well so I'd be able to tell in this case it's an adult female. This is a view down the uh, Orion scope. You can see that it's a female and it's actually Chiracanthium mildii. When I'm done viewing her before she comes back and runs away I can release her back into the container so when she wakes up uh, she'll be easy to control.